Shane. And Kelsey. And, and this, this is Dixie. Dixie and, and we're, we're Love Hunt for Life. We've now been on the road for 109 weeks in this little yellow house in the back of our truck. This week we found the sunshine and spent a whole bunch of time building a, a kitchen inside of a short bus schoolie. I hope you guys enjoy everything that we got ourselves into this week. Be sure and comment below and let us know what you think. This morning in Payson, Arizona on Diamond Point. We had a whole lot of luck here last week. Be sure and check out that video if you haven't already done so. We wish that we had a little bit more time to stay here and dig some more for some more diamonds, but there is a little short bus in Phoenix waiting on us, and that means it's time to pack up and get ready to go. Hey Dixie, you ready to drive? Let's go! We made it to Phoenix or Mesa right outside of Phoenix and to Shane's new project and where we're going to be building on it. This little short bus here belongs to a very sweet young lady named Alaria and we are super excited to be able to help her out in getting some cabinets and a place to wash her dishes in this adorable little bus. It's so tiny. As with every build, it's starting off with a trip to the hardware store. This time though, someone's got to stay behind and watch the bus. So I'm going to hang out here and catch an Arizona sunset. Woke up this morning and found a spot a little more conducive to our needs. I think this will work much better. So we have a very limited amount of space to work with here. What we're going to be doing is building in this whole corner. Um, we're going to have a stove mounted in, a sink, and we're also mounting in a little water heater, as well as we're building some drawers here to store clothing, but it's all gonna get tied in together. Awesome, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. I got a lot done today. I know it looks like a bunch of sticks, but this is actually the structure of the whole sink. So we'll have the stove slash oven, which is right here in front of me, mounted in this hole. There'll be a large eight inch deep sink mounted here. And then we're gonna have a water heater mounted here. And underneath will be storage for uh, five gallon water tanks instead of using a large tank. And then there'll be storage underneath the stove as well. And then tomorrow we move on around the corner. Good morning, everyone. Shane has already been working on the bus for a couple hours this morning. Let's see what he's got done. Hello. How's it going in here? Good. I've cut a lot of pieces of wood this morning. Not much has been built. And I finished up where the sink is going to go. So it'll drop in here and the water heater will be mounted up there. Give me a little more time. There'll be some more progress.
Good morning. Good morning. How's it going in here? Great. Check it out. Boots and shorts. It's getting hot out here. <laughs> we are moving on. Yesterday I was able to get the very large drawers built in. Each of these are 100 pound sets. So with the weight of the wood, you can still fit more clothes than any girl could dream of in those two. And I started building up the wall. This is where the water heater is gonna hang. And then today we're going to be wrapping everything up with wood. As you can see, I've already got a lot of it started. So I already put this up this morning as well as this down through here. We also integrated a power uh, plug that she had into the wall as well. So she'll be able to plug in. Awesome. Yeah. While he's doing that, I am going to be out here enjoying this 87 degree day. November 30th, guys. Can't beat it. Well, it doesn't look a whole lot different than it did this morning. I've done a lot today. Um, I, I pre-cut all of my wood facing, or as much as I could. I do have to go back. I'm a little short on a couple of things, but that's okay. We gotta pick up our sink that is dropping in this hole. Um, this is where the oven is going to sit. It's a little off kilter right now because there's not a deck on top or counter on top, so it's uneven. But today I filled in the back. I built out this wall. I got this hung. I started to stain all the drawers as well and they're outside right now. So we're still moving forward at an expedited rate, I would say. And you even got to some of the plumbing today, too. Some of it. Not much of it, but some of it. It's coming along. I think it's time to go enjoy this gorgeous sunset. Oh, it's nice to stand up. This morning, Shane is leaving us behind as he goes to make one last trip to the hardware store. Hilaria and Luna joined us last night, and we are all hanging out in this gorgeous desert day. I think you're running out of daylight in here, babe. Yeah, it seems to be looking that way, huh? Check it out. We got all the the wrapping done all the way around the cabinet. I still have to trim it all out tomorrow and build my doors. But we're still moving forward. We might be waving goodbye to this bus for a few days in a, sometime tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. So, we got everything all wrapped up. I'm about to start doing the trim work and then cut out the doors and do some staining. And we'll be all done. It's looking good, I think. I think so too, then. Awesome.
So we are packing up as fast as we can. She's got to get out of here to get to an appointment. And we are going to be meeting back up after the sink that she special ordered to go in here arrives and we can get it set in as well as get all the plumbing connected too. Yep, unfortunately this project is not getting finished this week, but it did get as close as we could without the sink. And I think it turned out really nice too. I think it looks awesome. I'll get some pictures when it gets out of the way. We are saying our temporary goodbyes to those two pretty girls. It's okay, Dixie, you'll get to see Luna again. I know, she's your friend. <laughs> We do have this big guy all to ourselves for the rest of the week, though. Yeah. Or at least for the rest of the night. Let's go with tonight. We got more to do this week. We got people to see. You know, because we have no trace. Always a good reason to light a fire. Dixie's enjoying it. She's warm. Well, guys, it is time for us to leave this spot behind as well. We are headed first into the city to resupply and uh, meet a new friend. And then we will be off to the wilderness uh, to get as far away from civilization as we can for a couple of days. Hopefully we find roads better than this one. This thing is a monster. But <laughs> we are headed into town to meet someone as well. Uh, we're gonna be looking at a step side van and hopefully being able to help them with their conversion process and maybe expedite it along. That's right guys, we are excited for a new project and also excited be spending some time driving down some crazy Arizona BLM roads. Well, it looks like we have played around in the city for a little too long. That sun is going down and we are on our way out looking for some more BLM land. We had a really good time while in town though and uh, met our new friend Tony and saw his awesome uh, new stepside van. Yes, I really enjoy that van. Those are, he's a retired postman and it is a postal service van so it's very befitting. I hope that we can help him out along his nomadic journeys. But right now we're driving very slow because the speed limit is really low headed west out of Phoenix. And we're trying to get out to BLM land before that sun drops and I don't think it's gonna happen. Yep, we'll be meeting back up with Tony uh, later, but for now we are headed for some pretty land. so be sure and hit that subscribe button thumbs up and comment below to let us know what you think if you're looking for a more in-depth view of our life check out our facebook and instagram under love hut for life and if you're trying to get a hold of us you can send us a message on either one of those platforms or just email us at lovehutforlife at gmail.com we'll see you next week peace out guys have a good one bye y'all